Can we discuss the current AUA guidelines, that's, I believe the American Urological Association, um, with regard to patient choice in the treatment process? And perhaps you could also share with us how the treatment process used to work and what things look like now with patient choice. The penile implant came out about like over 50 years ago, five zero. And so that was really the big option. And then when the oral medications or the pills came out over 20 years ago, the pills really revolutionized the way that we treat erectile dysfunction. And so then the treatment algorithm completely changed when it comes to treating ED. And we used to think that you got to go through this stepwise approach and you have to try everything before you ever make it to a penile implant. But actually the most recent iteration of the A UA guidelines, really, it's up to the patient's choice in having this shared decision or informed decision making process with the patient. So, you know, for some of my patients, let's say the pills work, but they don't want to take the pills, or they're worried about the cost, or they have side effects of the medications, really, everything else is fair game, or if someone can't take the medications, because let's say they're on medications that will interact with the oral medications, then those guys might go to a penile implant. And then some guys want to go from step to step to step, every Everyone's on their own timeline. So really, our American Urological Association guidelines focuses on this shared decision making with the patients and just notifying them, educating them on all treatment options. Yes, I want our listeners to really just understand that while we may talk about treatment in a progression as we're talking about the various options, that's not necessarily how things have to go. And currently, there is a collaborative patient choice element to the entire process. And the progression that we may talk about is not a one size fits all option for all patients. Now, to that end, I would love to get your opinion. Some of the people that I work with have expressed almost wanting more of a guidance. Uh, They feel comfortable when the doctor is kind of telling them what to do and feel a little bit uncomfortable Uh, having so many options and so many choices. I'm wondering what your opinion is about that occurrence um, and what might be some of the treatment guidelines um, when patients are feeling uncomfortable with that much choice. And I hear you, man. Like I, I understand that it's very open-ended and there's not much else in healthcare where we give patients like five options and say, what are you thinking? So often in healthcare, even though there are a lot of options with different medical concerns, we tell our patients or we say, we're going to put you on this medication. And then if they come back with side effects, then we might go to other medications. So it's rare that we give our patients choices. And especially with men, where this might be the reason why they actually come and enter into the healthcare system, they just might not be used to meeting with a healthcare provider and talking through all these options. So that can be really overwhelming for patients. You know, I learned this when I was at a fancy seafood restaurant in Chicago about two years ago. And I went to this restaurant and the waiter came out with a tray and he presented this tray like I like he had so much passion for presenting the food on the menu and you could see the lobster and you could see the steak and and you can see the let's say a crab cake right so if you're going to order any of those options when it came to your table there was no surprise if you ordered the lobster and had it delivered to your table and you were then, and it was a small or the steak was small, that's on you because you saw it and you ordered it. And so you kind of knew what you were getting yourself into. And that's how I've adopted all these therapies for ED in my own medical practices. I have all these demo products behind me and I have another set in my clinic. So when I go into the office, I'm literally carrying a whole armful of stuff and I drop it on the table. And when we go through these options, I'm showing them exactly what we're talking about. So there are no surprises for some of these therapies. They require a prescription. And so they can find out at the pharmacy how much it might cost. And for others, they might not need a prescription. So they might be ordering them online. And the last thing I want to do is recommend and, and describe in detail what these therapies are, have my patients order them or fill them at the pharmacy, see the needle that I'm asking them to inject their penis with at home after they've spent the money and say, that's not for me. So when I'm talking through all these options, I'm showing them this is what a vacuum pump looks like. Mm -hmm. This is one of many models here, other recommendations. This is the exact needle that you're going to put in your your penis if you decide to go through with injections. And the needle is not to scare anyone. It's to show them this is the needle. It's Mm -hmm. It's not fancy. This is a needle. This is what it looks like. What are you thinking? 
And I look at the expression on their eyes and I can get a sense in that moment if Bill is thinking, oh, I could try it or no, I'm not interested. And so based on how they respond is how I direct them through these options.